Yes, squirrel chasing hornbills. <laughs> Why are you running so fast, squirrel? Calm down. You're going to give yourself a heart attack. You are not Usain Bolt. You cannot do sprints like that. Look at it, it's shaking and panting. I think it got a bit of a fright. It must have come down the marula tree as we came off the corner, probably scavenging for, or well not scavenging, but foraging for some, not, some nuts from the marulas. <coughs> off it goes again. Look at the stamina that that squirrel has. That's very impressive. Does it have a mouth full? I don't know, it looked like it had a very full mouth for a second there, so I wonder if it hasn't got one or two nuts inside. But that is most certainly also a boy squirrel. And I'm sure you don't need to know why that that's, well, I'm sure you saw that that's a boy squirrel. <laughs> but it is, it's looking for nuts. But it's not just the, the squirrel that's here, it's the hornbills too. A variety of them feasting on, what are they eating, Brian? Ants or termites? Termites, is there a harvested termite nest there? There must be, yes, I can see a little bit of grass just uh, where the tail is of that of that hornbill, that red-billed hornbill. So I'm sure that they are picking away quite nicely at some termites. Having a great breakfast. It's a little food party here. I'm actually going to go up further because, like we said, it's not just the birds. We saw the squirrel. And there's starlings and all sorts of other critters in the road. Let me shoot. I'm going to poke my nose forward about a meter. And then I think... We'll see the rest of them. It's actually quite nice. I just don't want to go too far. I don't want to scare them. But I also want to get close enough so that you can all see very nice. Let's go over here. Don't birds settle now. Settle birds. Here we go. I think this is a little bit closer. But they're all the way down the end. That one's going through the mud. That ain't that one ain't scared. There must be some insects that are stuck in there. Those two are running away from us. They're now having a little bit of an argument. It looks like there's a bit of a termite mount where they are at the moment as they hide behind the long grass. Very, very active out here this morning. There's everything. I think we're going to go and visit lots of termites. These birds are very funny. I don't know if any of you also think that the way that they run, it's, it, this is what it reminds me of. It reminds me of old, olden days. It's just one of my brother's favorite words. He always used to talk about the olden days. And I'm, but I'm talking about, oh, oh, having a squabble. But I think that they look like ladies from maybe their early settler days with their big dresses and their bonnets and things. And it's as if they had to pick up those very heavy long dresses and then sort of, I'll actually demonstrate, let's demonstrate. Just see if you can, if you can get what I'm talking about. So you've got your, your, I've got my long cable. Let's, I can go over the shoulder. Long dress, little bonnet to everything. You have to pick it up from the bottom because it's heavy. And then you run like this. <laughs> That's what those birds remind me of doing. That's my silliness with the tech done now. <laughs> But I always have a good giggle when I see them moving around like that. And, and particularly the red-billed hornbills, I don't know, they seem to lift their head, legs up a little bit higher. 